video train game trader in Calgary on Center Street. It's awesome. There is a game and I Been a few weeks, sorry everybody, been kind of busy. Gavin Stones, getting excited, movie's almost here. Uh, probably not gonna take this thing off until it comes out. Why would you, this thing's wicked. I don't know why everybody gets that other weird one. This one is like, this is how I picture the Infinity Gauntlet. I've had the book sitting here the whole time. I don't know, this is 10 years of waiting. Uh, anyway. This week's episode is places to buy comics for cheap uh, and build your collection for cheap. A uh, few places, uh, man, my hands sweaty. Um, Nebula, stay away. Yeah, places to buy comics cheap. Uh, a few websites, garage sales, uh, thrift stores, just a few suggestions, things you might not have thought of. The cheaper you can get them, the more you can get. So why not share the information with everybody because then we all win. Let's see one of those buggers I see in line ahead of me with books I want, games I want, whatever. That's the excitement of it, right? Hunting down issues, looking for them, flipping through them, finding new places. Uh, here we go, a bunch of suggestions and um, yeah, sorry this episode took so long, but yeah, usually every Wednesday, remember to check us out guys and uh, throw any comments down. Uh, yeah, check it out. Alright guys, another good place to look for comics obviously is uh, comic shops. Usually there's bargain bins. Uh, you can look in the back, or uh, sometimes it's good just to cruise through the back issues. Maybe there's books they haven't noticed that have gone up in value, so they haven't been marked up yet, so you can still snag those for cheap. Uh, try and get there on days that major characters are being debuted, if you know about it. Like lately, it's been the Spider Man books, and the whole Jethano stuff's been going crazy. Uh, there's that Moon Girl 28, it was a little print run that's first appearance of Galactus character or something like that. Yeah, so if you could be there on those days, that'll save you time and frustration down the road. Slower shops, sometimes they'll be out on the shelf longer. Busy shops, sometimes they're, they don't even make it to the shelf, right? Usually comic shops have lots of stuff, but it's it's usually expensive and they can usually find you stuff, but sometimes you might pay more for it just because they gotta get their cut too. eBay is always somewhere that you can find like everything. Uh, everything's on there, it's just usually expensive if it's in demand. When I buy comics, like if I want a couple of issues of Spider-Man, I try to buy runs. So like I'll try to buy Amazing Spider-Man 500 to 600, even if I only want like 10 issues in the middle. And that way I can sell all the other ones and get those issues for free usually, or just way cheaper, or just knock the price of all of them down. Just because like buying single issues and paying shipping on eBay is just ridiculous. I, I don't know. Sometimes you got to, but I try to avoid it if I can. Uh, Facebook groups are awesome for uh, buying and selling comics, and usually the prices are a bit better than eBay, just because if you try to charge something ridiculous, everyone calls you on it. So it's kind of nice that way. Uh, PayPal and stuff, it's pretty easy to send payments now, and usually if somebody's a little sketchy, it, other people have either not dealt with them or have dealt with them, and can just be like, no, this guy's good, and if no one's heard of some guy and he's selling like, Fantastic Four number one for 200 bucks. Well, you should just be smart enough not to fall for it, right? Uh, so there, there is a bit of risk there, but I find the grading's better too. Because it's easier to communicate than uh, on eBay and stuff. So I'm really a big fan of the comic book groups, especially for uh, buying and selling. Same with the pops and video games. And stuff. Garage sales are an awesome place to pick up comics. Usually you can buy a big stack for cheap. Uh, the downside is you don't really get to pick the books. like. Whatever the person has at the garage sale is all they have, right? And it's a lot of legwork, and you're never really guaranteed anything at all. So, I love garage sales because I find all sorts of different stuff. But comics is one of the things I look for, as well as video games and car parts and all sorts of other shit. But like down the street from this lady, this big stack of Pokemon games, she charged me like twenty dollars for like eight Pokemon games, and her kid was just glaring at me. It was like, yes. <laughs> um, one place that's really good to get comics, obviously, is comic book conventions. Uh, one thing to remember is if you go the first day, like the Friday or the Thursday, usually the prices are more set in stone, uh, but if you circle around back on the Sunday and you see the book that you might have offered a price for 
lower on the Friday, on the Sunday sometimes, because they don't want to bring books back home with them, right? So there's a little more negotiation abilities on Sundays or towards the end of the convention. However, you risk someone else buying the book and just paying what they're asking, right? So if I see something I want, I just buy it, but that's, that's my strategy. I hate not getting stuff I want. Conventions, and sometimes too, if you see a book that's crazy priced or uh, you're not too sure about the price, you can just circle around the convention. There's probably more copies of it, especially if it's like a hot issue or something. So uh, yeah, conventions are always a great place. Uh, comic book realm, it's like a price guide, and you can also buy books on there. Alright guys and gals, another wicked place to buy comics is comicbookrealm.com um, Say you're like me and you have a really bad condition copy of uh, G.I. Joe number 86 uh, You could just go on here, type in Sorry, my keyboard has a gremlin living in it Type in G.I. Joe in the old box there, find it Aha, here we go, find a real American hero, click it, come into here, uh, hmm, scroll down, uh, what issue was that, 86, boom, five dollars is what it's worth. Here it is, and then you can go to market. And there is one available for sale. It's a 944 by Peter Time. Asking price is a dollar. <laughs> so I could replace it for pretty cheap. All these people want it. They all want to pay a dollar, but still. Uh, it's a really good place to buy books. Uh, I found it a lot better deal than eBay, and people are a lot friendlier to deal with. And, uh, I don't know. It's just another place to buy books if none of you have thought about it. I really enjoy the website though. Boom. Comic book realm. Alright. Another good place to pick up comics is thrift stores. Like, I just grabbed this uh, strategy guy from a kid for like 99 cents or something. But the tricky thing is with comics is you really gotta look around for them. Especially at thrift stores because anything can be any. One thing about these places, make sure you check everywhere. Let's find some Death Wolverines. paperback another good way to pick up cheap books is to buy a whole collections at a time now I like to find them on Kijiji and Craigslist and things like that and uh, if possible a good thing to find out is what the person collected before you go look at the collection find out the series uh, find out the key books look through the collection make sure the key books are there if the key books aren't there then you can usually lowball them a bit because like it's really hard to sell comics that aren't key books so like that guy's probably stuck with them or they probably sold all the good books and now they're just trying to move the other comics so like if you want them just to read or for your collection by all means just pay for them what you feel they're worth to you but like if all the key books are there just make sure you go through them first just check um also find out why they're selling them sometimes it's just an angry girlfriend who got dumped selling her ex's comics and just wants to get rid of them so you can get them cheap i don't know it's all different reasons but like depending on why if it's someone really attached to their collection you might they might overvalue them, so sometimes you gotta take that into consideration. I usually aim for 50 cents a book or less. Uh, it doesn't sound like much, but when you're buying like 2,000 comics and it comes out to a grand, and most of them you don't want, 50 cents is a lot. So like, I don't know, I've bought lots of collections for 10 cents a book and stuff, and uh, you can't really control what you get when you buy a collection, but so if you can buy a collection that someone hasn't gone over first, you could score a lot of good books because the cool thing about buying a collection is a collector went out and found all those books and most collectors want the best condition books. So it's like they went out and did a whole bunch of work for you and now you can just absorb all that work for cheap. I really love buying collections, it's the main way I, I collect now. I got this in the last one, so that was pretty sweet. Just a whole bunch of other Spider-Man books as well. But yeah, that's, that's one other cheap way to buy comics. Alright guys, that's it uh, for this week. Uh, hopefully some of that stuff's useful for some of you. Any questions? Please throw them in the comments. Also, there's tons of websites for like Midtown Comics, Mile High, uh, all that stuff. Uh, it all depends on how you want to buy your books, right? Uh, yeah, any questions, throw them in the comments. We'll be back next Wednesday. Uh, Pre-Soaked Revengers, it's right around the corner. 
No, wait, spring's almost here. I got a lot of ideas for new episodes. Uh, yeah, I uh, look forward to talking to you guys. And I'll keep making them. You guys keep watching them. Keep on collecting. Thanks. Peace. Hey, are we out of chips? There she is. Games music. Also, this big sign. Me and my friend drilled this. One of our games music. Yeah, go on in, Grace.